Unreal Engine 4.19 introduces a bunch of changes, a few of them large and a few of them small, and some of the smaller ones don't really get noticed. So I'm going to go ahead and cover a few of them here. Now, since I've started talking, I've been loading up 4.18. This is the last version prior to the new one, and you can see the load time. Now, one of the employees at Epic decided, hey, we can do better. This is actually taking a bit too long. And they went ahead and they rejiggered a few things. And what they did when I opened up my preview project is they made the startup time for the editor faster. So they changed the way certain things loaded. And now you'll notice a dramatic increase in the time between 4.18 and 4.19 for the loading, up to 15 seconds faster. And as you can see there, we're already loaded up. So that's one of the smaller changes. Another one is the ability to have folder favorites. So we have the ability to have our collections and those collect stuff. But let's say we have a large project and there's a certain set of folders that we use from time to time. Well, we now we have show favorites. We can access it from the bottom right, view options, show favorites. Now we have a favorite section that we can see here at the top. We can right click any folder, add to favorites, and it's gonna show up. And it'll be the same type as we had before. So let's say we go down to here, Let's say we're working inside of our materials all the way down here. We'll just go ahead and favorite that, and now we have it up here in our favorites. And of course, we can do anything we normally do. These are just shortcuts to existing folders. So keep in mind, if you delete them, rename them, set the colors, it's going to affect the original folders. It's just a shortcut. It's a favorites list. After this, we have a few different nodes that have been added into the new system. So let's go ahead and go into our content. And we'll pull this open and we're going to look at a few of those nodes. Prior to 4.19, if you were going to use CCD or continuous collision, so we can type in CCD on my mesh, it's a physics object, we have used CCD, continuous collision detection. It's a toggle that you turn on in design time. Unfortunately, it wasn't editable at runtime. You have now have two nodes in 4.19 that allow us to change that. We have the set all use CCD that turns on everything inside of the item we're targeting or set use CCD where we can target a bone name itself and you can turn on and off CCD. Now this may be useful where you only want it in certain times. Maybe something exceeds a certain speed in your project and then you want to turn it on to make sure you don't actually have any misses and make sure your penetration works properly. Next one, we have the get data table column as string. Prior to this, if we were to get a data table information, we had the row names or we had the individual information. Now we have the column itself. And what this will do is take in our data table and the name and give us everything that comes out of that actual column, all of the values in that column, which is useful if you just need to get a bunch of data out of a data table. And lastly, we have the ability to quickly hide items inside of structs when we're not using them, when we break apart a struct. So here we can see a standard struct. I have an input and they have a bunch of outputs. Now let's say I only wanted to use two of these things. So maybe I'd hook this up and I don't know, let's, let's go ahead and add that to an array. So we're using that one. And then I wanted the curve itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll set that as a variable. So I'm only using these two. Now prior to this, you'd have to go inside and you'd have to uncheck everything you're not using. Now we have a hide unconnected pins button. We'll click it. It's gonna hide automatically or uncheck automatically everything that's not connected and we're done. It's a really small quality of life change, but it helps. And as you can see, it's really quick. And that's it. Those are a few of the smaller changes in general to the engine introduced in 4.19 that I thought you might want to know about.